Hello and welcome to this podcast from Blackwell Online. My name is George Miller, and my guest today is novelist Catherine O'Flynn, whose first novel, What Was Lost, was a huge success when it appeared in 2007. It went on to win the first novel prize at the Costa Book Awards the following year, and has been translated into over 20 languages. Like that book, her new novel, The News Where You Are, is set in her hometown of Birmingham, and shares with it an interest in how cities change, often taking cherished parts of her own personal histories with them as they do so. This is especially true of Frank Allcroft, the central character in the new book. Frank is a local news presenter, a decent bloke, a bit of a plodder, with a special interest in things that have gone. These include the buildings designed by his architect father, which were put up during one of Birmingham's reinventions of itself in the 1970s. They are now being demolished one by one. They also include the forgotten people who die alone and friendless in the city every day. When Frank's former colleague and mentor, Phil Smethway, is killed in a baffling hit-and-run accident, Frank becomes involved in trying to make sense not only of Phil's life, but also examining what he wants from his own. But before we got on to talking about the novel itself, I felt compelled to ask Catherine about a documentary she mentions in the course of the book. Did Telly Savalas Looks at Birmingham really exist, or had she made it up? I'm 